Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if it's your first time. So, today is going to be another episode of Battle of Makeup. Take this tie off. Things aren't getting serious. So I recently just got a new light diffuser, so I'm hoping my videos won't be like super bright and super harsh. So I'm just trying to diffuse my ring light so that I don't look like a ghost. This episode of Battle of Makeup is going to be about the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer and the NYX Can't Stop One Stop Concealer. I'm very excited to try both of these actually. This is going to be my first impressions as well. I've never tried these, these are still, look, all packaged up still. So the Fenty one retails for $28 and comes in 50 shades, which is, obviously I don't even have to talk about it, it is, one of the craziest, widest ranges I've ever seen in a concealer. Actually, I don't know if I've ever seen 50 shades of concealers with different undertones. But congratulations, Rihanna, for thinking about every skin tone and undertone. I'm not sure if it's my right shade. It is a little yellow. I like a little yellow in my concealer just to make it brighter and kind of color correct my under eyes. I do have very pink undertones and I do have a slight bit of yellow, so I try to use that to my advantage. So I chose this concealer in 105, the second lightest shade. <laughs> I actually tried the foundation before and I used shade 120. I just didn't like the foundation's formula on my skin because I do have really dry skin. 120 in concealer is not the same shade as 120 in foundation. The same shade name goes with the foundation, meaning the concealer in 120 is slightly lighter than the 120 foundation. So I got shade Fair and the next concealer, which is the second lightest shade as well in the shade range. This concealer retails for $8.50, which is an amazing price point, obviously. It comes in 24 shades. This is also a little warm toned concealer that was like the closest that I found to each other. We're gonna see how similar they are, how different they are. I'm very excited. I also got the new Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. It is a huge box. I got this shade Butter and I think that's my shade, I'm pretty sure, because the other option was lavender, and lavender looks a little pink to me. And powders, I do love a like a slight warm touch, so it brightens up my face and kind of cancels out the redness. This powder retails for $32, and it comes in eight shades. I'm gonna use the powder on both sides and see how it reacts to Fenty and the NYX concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and start moisturizing my skin. And to moisturize my skin, I'm using the Pixi Rose Oil Blend. Since it's a little colder outside, I do love a little bit of oil before makeup. I use the oil with moisturizer. For moisturizer, I'm gonna be using the Shira Science Algae and Rich Moisturizing Cream. I use this moisturizer around my eyes as well, in case you guys are wondering. It is very rich and it's very hydrating, but it doesn't irritate the area around my eyes. And if you do want to check them out, I'm definitely going to put the link down below. So I'm going to start with the Fenty Concealer on my left side. Let's swatch it for you guys. Ooh. Looks like a good shade to me. We'll see. Let's start with this much and then we'll see where it goes. It is very creamy and very easy to blend so far. And I definitely think I made the right choice with the shade too. Ooh! When I look at the monitor actually, it looks really good. It makes you look like awake and fresh and as if you just, you know, slept for 48 hours and you just woke up rested. It doesn't look caked up or anything like that. It blends really well into the skin and it kind of melts into the skin. I try not to watch a lot of videos when it comes to reviewing a product because I don't want to be biased and you kind of get like affected a little bit. Yeah, they're very similar in shade. The next one is slightly darker, it has a little neutral in it too. Okay, that's fine. We'll work with it. I'm going to start with the same exact amount. Okay, this definitely dries a little quicker, so you have to kind of work faster with it. 
coverage is not as well as this one as you can see this is way creamier and definitely has more coverage in it let's try a second layer because for now it is a very like it has a very subtle coverage but we all know this is not what i'm here for i'm here for that full coverage under eye super awake look okay so i, I think the second layer is doing it for me so I actually tried the, the foundations of both of them, the Fenty and the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop, and neither of them worked for me. <laughs> um, they were both kind of drying on my skin. The NYX one is separating on my skin already. Let's try a third layer and see where that takes me, because right now I'm nowhere. It is pouring down right now, by the way. It's the perfect day to just, you know, grab a snack and film, or if you're not filming, yeah. a script. <laughs> grab a snack. So we're getting somewhere with the third layer, the seeing it, Chief. I don't know if you guys can see it, but my redness is peeping through right here, and the product is currently separating right there. Guys, I don't know if you can see, but this is a complete complete flop right now this is like it's a patch on my pores and then this right here separated completely and my skin is showing i'm just gonna go ahead and put some foundation on and hope for the best since it's really really drying on my skin i'm just going to kind of spice things up with the fix plus and hope that it, this hydrates my skin a little bit Remember when I said the foundation will probably help it put it all together? No, didn't help. I'm gonna proceed with Fenty to kind of save it. It definitely melts into the skin more. It's not as drying as the foundation. Same with NYX concealer. I saw the NYX side apparently does not want to blend in with everything else and it just sits on my face and cracking under my eyes too. Interesting. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna contour and we'll be right back. I am back, contoured my face and put a little blush on now i'm moving on to the powder for people that travel a lot it comes with a little stopper like that and if you want to see where it is that is that little compartment right here this is what it looks like it is very chic very expensive and luxurious looking it has like a slight smell to it like a nice smell not gross smell let's start with the panty side I don't know if I should... <laughs> oh my gosh, this is looking horrible right now. It definitely is a brightening powder. It feels like it sets it immediately. When I... Well, I've got... It's kind of tight on my skin, so I can tell that... <coughs> here. I really hope it's not one of those powders where even if you dust it off, you can see where you put the powder on. I'm going to set the rest of my face using my MAC Skin Finish Powder, and it says in Light Plus. I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Puff to do that. And I'm also using this to kind of dust off the powder that I just put. Since I have dry skin, I don't like to bake too long. I place a lot of powder and then I dust it off not that long after. And the patches are sitting separately under my eye so that's a great look you know that's all i want under my eyes the fancy side surprisingly didn't have like a super matte finish and i love that because even though the foundation was really dry on my skin the concealer had like almost like a satin finish tart shape tape is more drying than the fancy concealer and it is not like super super full coverage it is definitely buildable medium coverage 
you know what? Even the Avengers couldn't save this side. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. So I did the rest of my face. I've been like eating, watching American Horror Story. So yeah, it currently has been about six hours since I put the concealer on. On the fancy side, there is literally zero creasing, zero. And it still has been sitting pretty nicely. In spite of all the wrongs I had to go through to come here, it is blended with the foundation nicely but it is definitely looking dry and also separating under like this line i will say i really like the powder it is not super drying it actually brightened up my under eyes the concealers usually crease a lot under my eyes some powders can't even prevent that but this powder actually was able to prevent that creasing and was able to make everything super long lasting when i put translucent loose powder on my forehead it makes it super super dry but this one didn't do that at all it melted right into my skin without even the setting spray everything feels pretty locked in setting powder is definitely yes let's see how i was going to perform with the flash no flashback at all the champion of today's battle of makeup episode is Fancy Beauty Pro Filter Retouch Concealer. This is the champ. This is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want me to compare two items to products, please do let me know in the comment section. And if you did make it this far, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button right below. See you in the next video. Bye. Also.